Alright folks, let's dive right in. Today, we're peeling back a layer of one of the biggest mysteries in UAP history. Hang on to your seats, this one's a game changer. Picture this, we're watching Colt Hart's News Nation broadcast, and Daniel Sheehan is about to shake the foundations of what we know about UFOs. The timestamp? Between 48 and 50 minutes into the show. Sheehan, who's no stranger to controversy, brings up Albert Stein, a name tied to the legendary Project Blue Book. Now, Blue Book was the real deal, a U.S. Air Force program that dug into UFO sightings until 1969. But here's the jaw-dropper. Stein, on his deathbed, drops a bombshell. He claims he was whisked away to S-4, a top-secret slice of Area 51. And what he saw there is out of this world, literally, a UFO, up close and personal. This isn't your everyday UFO claim. We're talking about a revelation from a guy who's seen it all from the inside. It's a stark contrast to the usual debunking spiel we've heard for years. Now, this ties back intriguingly to Bob Lazar. Lazar has been saying for years he saw UFOs at S4. Most brushed him off. But now, with Stein's confession, Lazar's stories suddenly seem less like fringe theories and more like hidden truths. It's like a plot twist in a thriller, isn't it? Stein's revelation might just be the missing link we've been searching for in this cosmic puzzle. So, what's your take? Is this the smoking gun that proves government cover-ups and extraterrestrial encounters? Or is there more to the story? And the main issues that Congress and others have been concerned about are basically safety of flight concerns and counterintelligence issues. But of course, there's always the question of, is there something else that we simply do not understand that might come extraterrestrial? extraterrestrially? 